meet people who say, oh, I'm not a gamer, I'd never play a game, and then they'll pull out real racing and sit there and play real racing in front of you. So people don't think of themselves as gamers, but everybody is now, which is really fantastic. We've kind of become the popular medium so much that nobody even knows they're doing it. Fire Monkeys is a Melbourne-based studio. It's the culmination of two indie studios that grew up here, Fire Mint and Iron Monkey. They came together to become Fire Monkeys. Fire Mint and Iron Monkey are known for making quality mobile products. They're at the forefront of mobile development. They've helped EA to shape their mobile brand. There's just a constant conversation about games in Melbourne and that really helps to bring together the right people to be making games and to feel like you're really supported by the city. Melbourne has an ingrained DNA that really talks to making quality projects and I think that that's kind of seeped into the bones of what makes Fire Monkeys who they are. We're always looking for new angles and new ideas that can just feed the process and having all of this game culture around us and constantly talking about it just helps to feed that creative furnace and allow us to build new and better things. I can remember a time as part of Iron Monkeys where Tony Lay, one of the founders of the studio, turned to me and said, I can't imagine the studio ever growing any bigger than this. And that was when there were 20 of us. There's 170 of us now. So yeah, to say that we've grown a lot is an understatement. We've kind of surpassed anything that anyone expected that this studio could do. I think what makes me really proud about Fire Monkeys is that we managed to retain our identity that we're really about making games, we're really about doing the biggest, best console experience that we possibly can on a mobile platform and there's not really anyone else operating in that space, so that's something that really belongs to us.